So here we have the BMW 118i Sport Automatic on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see we've got plenty of space in there along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left hand side, we have the speedometer and on the right hand side, the rev counter. At the bottom in the middle, you can see the total miles on this car, which are 9,464. You can change information displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various different bits of fuel economy information or that digital readout for the speedometer. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we've got a speed limiter and on the right-hand side, we've got stereo controls and voice activation for the phone. So hit that button. Ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired up the phone and that is done on the central screen just here. So this is BMW's business nav that we're looking at here. Um, all of the movement that I'm making, it's all being done using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial. So twisting this will take us through the various options. We can push this down to select things. This also moves to the right, left, up and down as well which becomes useful in certain menus you can access some menus directly from here we're on the main menu at the moment we'll do everything with the dial just so i can show you how it works uh, so first of all with regards to music uh, you've got radio and media we have dab radio fm radio as well we've got a cd player we've got bluetooth audio so you can stream music wirelessly uh, once the phone is paired up and we've got USB input. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. That's where you pair your phone up under the communication heading. We've then got the navigation for the car. So if we go down to map, you'll be able to see a nice clear view of what that looks like. There's a full video explaining exactly how the satellite navigation works, uh, which can be found on our website uh, and on our Facebook page as well. And then along there, we've got a few other options like vehicle settings, um, fuel economy information, that sort of thing. Working our way down, we've got the CD player and then the air conditioning. So you can determine where you'd like the air to blow when it enters the car. The temperature over here, fan speed up and down from here. When you're happy with those settings, hit that button to turn the air conditioning on. Or if you hit auto, the car will take control of the fan speed in order that it maintains the temperature that you've asked for uh, on this dial just here. You can override that at any time you wish to. Underneath that, we've got two cup holders and a 12 volt charging socket, the fully automatic gearbox, and then to the right hand side of that, we have these buttons here. So that one turns off the traction control, first of all. You can put the car in sport mode or eco pro mode. It's in comfort mode at the moment, which is in the middle here. If I press the sport button, for example, it will show us that we're in sport mode. We can go back down to comfort, or we can go to eco pro. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.